the harvesting hammer is to talk before your own colleagues about something so personal. So we understand that. And so thank you for being here and doing this for us. So the people for me, I'm used to speaking to the youth and preaching at my church, boys and girls, other things of that nature. But one thing I found out, um, just be real. <laughs> you know, that's one thing, you know, just be real and honest. I asked my dad to come here because he's used to speaking and said it's like this. Thank you for coming out there. Um, I was surprised when Elise asked me to speak. This is just what happened to me. I know a lot of people have had COVID. Several of my family members have had COVID. But for me, I really, really had a change, like on the inside. Like, it was the most horrible experience physically, but like, my mind changed. You know, my heart changed, my spirit changed. Um, and many of y'all that I talk to, y'all y'all know, um, it just made me more grateful. Um, happened on the Thursday night, I was doing a series. I had a series called Talk to Me Walk With Me. And I, I preached a message, and I just felt horrible afterwards. And um, I had already told King, I was like, I don't feel good. I ain't coming to work tomorrow. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not. I preached, and after that, I just felt horrible. I texted Elise, and I said, I don't feel well. I thought I would be back up running. I thought it might just be a cold or something like that. So Sunday comes around, and uh, no text, no spin. Looking at my wife, she's looking at me. We need to be tested. So we went through the drive through the AU, got tested. Hers came back positive. My son's came back positive. Mine came back, um, it was like, there's an error. Um, we lost it. I think they lost it or something like that. So I had to go to Walgreens. So I'm already sick, can't work, don't know how I'm paying my bills. Um, Cause you know, PTO is about to run out. Went to Walgreens and um, they almost would not test me. Like, it was just like, bam, 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 bam. Why all this bad stuff happening to me, man? I think I'm an okay person, you know what I'm saying? Why all this happening? So then um, I showed them I had an appointment. They were like, you don't have an appointment. So they found an appointment. They tested me. About 30 minutes to an hour later, it came back positive. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? I got to get there. At least like, you got to call and go to hell. So like she just said, I'm not embarrassed now. But I wasn't embarrassed then. You know, to tell somebody you got COVID, you kind of feel like, like you're dirty. Like if you haven't had it, you know, you're looking at everybody else, even if you had families that had it, when you get it, you're like, I got COVID. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want COVID, but I have it now. So the only thing I can do is get better. You know, I wanted to lay in the bed, but I couldn't stay in the bed. I had to get up because, you know, that's how a lot of people are staying sick by not getting out of the bed. And my mom had it already, she was like, you gotta get up, you gotta take this, you gotta eat, even if you can't taste, you know, even if you can't smell, you gotta eat, you gotta drink, you gotta get fluids in the system. I have all the symptoms, like diarrhea, I know what's next. Lost the taste of smell, headache, headache, no long energy, chronic fatigue. One day I failed, like I went to the toilet and failed. Like my equilibrium was off. I mean, it was horrible. And all I could do was sit there, cry out to God, pray, try to watch movies, enjoy my time with my family. And my perception changed. And I started thanking God for things that I didn't thank Him for. And I know everybody in here may not believe in God. I'm just giving my testimony. Um, you just say you're being grateful, grateful living. I started being grateful for that I could see, that I could smell, that I could call my mom and she's still alive. You know what I'm saying? That I can rekindle my friendship with my own brother. Like it was people I was calling I hadn't talked to in years because I started thinking, what if I did die? Did I really, did I really live life the way that I wanted to? Did I really leave my mark the way that I wanted to? Did I waste time getting in foolish arguments? Did I waste time complaining about this job? You know what I'm saying? I like my job. But it's stuff that, you know, it ain't right all the time. So it's like, you know, when you think about it, but it's like, thank God you have a job. Thank God you have this job. Thank God for the people that you work with. I thank God for all of y'all. You know, it really changed my mind. And I'm not going to be up here long, but um, I'm just grateful, y'all. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful.
this is not something, this was eight weeks ago, this is not something that, you know, oh, you got a sugar rush and you just had this quick moment, like, this is for the rest of my life. Like, I'm not going back to being a zombie, coming to work, being depressed, being upset. If I'm here, I'm supposed to be here. If I'm working as a blue coat, I'm supposed to be a blue coat. You know, that's gonna mean I'm gonna stay with Blue Coat for the rest of my life, but while I'm here, I should appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And that's why I'm up here today because this is a little new to me working, speaking in a workforce like this, but y'all feel what I'm saying? I'm just being real. I just thank God for it all.